Things I wish I knew before I got married, things I wish I knew before I said I do. Most of the things I know now, I know because I've experienced it. I know because I've heard from people's stories. I know because I've read books. But I wish that most of these things I knew then. If I knew then before now, maybe some conflicts, maybe some things that went on in my marriage in the early days, maybe I would have been aware of some of those things and so things might have turned out differently or better though i am enjoying my marriage but some of these lessons i learned the hard way so i'm going to share with you today things i wish i knew before i said i do if you are interested kindly stick with me i'll be right back hello beautiful people i welcome you back to my channel this is Ekia Nyami, and this is my youtube channel so let's get right into it the first thing i was that love was not enough in fact when people come for premarital counseling, I ask them, why do you want to marry this person? He said, because I love him before, because I love him. I said some. Even when I wanted to marry my husband, a lot of people were like, why do you want to marry him? Oh, but I love him. He loves me. I'm happy with him. My dear, after marriage, I got to know that love was not enough, that it takes more than love. There were, there, that there were a lot of other factors that come together to make a marriage work. Yes, love is important, but what? But the most important thing is the function. You see, the emotions are there. You might see someone you are so emotional about the person. When you see the when you know, when the person is not there, you miss the person and all those things. But my dear, when the marriage or the relationship is not functioning, the love will not be enough for you. The second thing is that I wish someone told me that we need to talk more. We need to sit down and talk more. We need to have a lot of conversations. I need to ask questions. He needed to ask me questions. We needed to talk about our finances. It depends on every home and what works in the home. Some people say, oh, okay, I'm the man. I'll go and work. I'll bring the money. Then the woman will cook. And then we both enjoy. And it's working for them perfectly. Others will say, no, I cannot only do the work. So both of us will go out. We'll do the work. we come back. And then we both cook, we, we both prepare whatever, we both take care of the home and both eat. It is working for them perfectly. Others will say, no, you are um, um, because of the kids. So maybe you have to stop this job and do this business. So that, and it's working for them perfectly. I wish that, I knew that these were things that we need to talk about. These were questions that I needed to ask. These were questions that he needed to ask me before we go into the marriage and i think i've done a video about questions you need to ask when you are in a relationship i'm going to put a link of that video somewhere up here please watch it if you haven't watched it and make sure you ask those questions i also wish i knew that love was more than a feeling and that love was a decision and that love is a choice because that feeling that euphoric feeling at most two years you know be having that consistent feeling as you used to have your partner is going to annoy you he or she's going to do something you go like is this a person i married someone you wake up and you see your partner sleeping and you go like Shani, tibi. <laughs> and you get to a point where you decide that i've decided to be with this person i've decided to love him I've, I've made a choice to be stuck with him and that no matter what i am with him unless whatever it is has to do with my life but I wish that someone told, because there have been many instances where women will go like, there have been many instances where people go like, I don't feel the same way. I don't feel the love. I feel I don't love him. The love that I had for him from the start is no more. And so they are trying to get la that love from outside. My dear, love is more than a feeling. Love is a decision. And so if you are not married and you've come across this video, you are luckier because you are going to learn a lot. If you are not married and you've come across my channel, Please do not leave this channel without subscribing because on this channel we learn a lot. We learn a lot which is going to help you in your relationship and in your marriage. I wish that someone told me that though we love each other, the relationship should function. As I said earlier on, let me give you a scenario. Let's say you buy a car, you buy a Benz, and then the Benz is so nice, it's so beautiful, and then you when when the bands arrived like you said you started feeling happy like you were so happy first of all you were attracted to the bands because it was nice then when you got into it you felt happy that is the emotion but then you start the car and it doesn't start and you go like what is happening 
so okay maybe because it's new let me just put it for a couple of days and then i'll do it again and then later you go back you start and it still doesn't start and you are still contemplating why is this thing not starting and in a week or a month time the car is still not starting so though you are attracted to the car though it made you feel happy at that moment the car is not functioning and so it will not become any other thing like just a statue or something that is not mobile and so whatever feeling that you had the thing is not functioning it is not serving the purpose and so in marriage i wish someone told me that no matter what both of us should function we should be able to make each other happy that the relationship the marriage should be up and going and that it takes more than love to make a marriage break i wish someone told me that i needed to learn how to marry before i got married you see there's the things that you don't know what to do that is difficult for you to do if you don't know how to drive and they put you behind the steering wheel to drive my dear you cannot you start shivering but when you learn how to do it that is when you become so competent if you want to be a medical doctor you go to medical school to learn how to be a medical doctor if you want to be a seamstress you go to the fashion school to learn or you be an apprentice to learn but if you want to get married you feel that having a successful marriage comes automatically the fact that i love him and he loves me that is it no marriage is work and so you need to learn how to do it and do it right and i wish someone told me earlier so that i would have read books so that i would have gone for seminars so that i would have spoken to counselors and then um professionals to know how to do it and do it well i wish someone told me that forgiveness in marriage is a must and that sometimes you even have to do advanced forgiveness that is when you expect the person to to apologize so that you can say oh because he said sorry I've, I've been able to forgive him my dear the apology might never come sometimes you even have to forgive without even telling the person that this is what you did or that because if you inhabit bitterness in you it ruins your 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 your, your, your it ruins your own happiness it ruins your marriage you are not happy there's always tense in the house and my dear that is not what you want so i wish someone told me that forgiveness is a must and that it takes more than feelings to to forgive i don't feel like forgiving him no my dear forgiveness is not a feeling it is a decision that you decide that i have decided that even though you've offended me even though i'm i'm hurt even though i didn't expect you to do this but i still choose to forgive you because i want my peace i wish someone told me that i am getting married to my husband and i'm marrying his assets and i'm marrying his liability we don't we don't talk about this no we don't it's like we don't even consider those things i'm getting married i'm so happy i i he's a good person he's he's does he's that and then we forget the liabilities we forget his debts we forget his weaknesses we forget that he's a human being and so when things start happening when life starts life when reality starts setting in, that is where, this is not what I settled for. My dear, that is why in the marriage vows, most of us say for better, for worse. It doesn't necessarily mean that there's going to be a worst case scenario in your marriage, no. But it means that as much as you guys are human beings, there are going to be conflicts, there are going to be issues, and that you are not only marrying the good news, you are also marrying the bad news. It comes with it. It's a full package. I also wish someone told me that my partner cannot make me happy 24 7. normally we go into marriage with a lot of expectations he's my best friend she's my everything yes i know and he or she will try his or her possible best all things being equal to make sure that you're happy but my dear there are moments he has to go to his family there are moments he's going to fight his own battles there are moments he himself is not happy how can he make you happy and so he cannot make you happy 24 7 and then i wish that someone told me that marriage was different from relationship normally during the relationship time we are so cling to each other we are so attached to each other like especially when it comes to sex my dear when you get married sometimes you don't even feel like like you don't even feel like. i wish someone told me this thing before i get married and then this brings me to my last point i wish someone told me that it is not always that i'm going to feel like having sex with my husband 
and the fact that he wants to have it doesn't necessarily mean that i also feel like having it you know it is not always the case but that is why you need to compromise that is why you need to make a choice that is why you need it needs to be a decision and then know that this is something that i have decided to do and so as i am in i am in unless it is it has to do with um, my life or the life of my children are at risk aside that marriage is marriage most of the time during the relationship time we want to do a do or die affair like i'm stuck with him even if it's not working we want it to work but in marriage when the problem starts coming in that is when we want to say that oh i can't do this anymore my dear your reverend minister your pastor your the judge asked you are you going to do this do that do that, do that? he said yes i do it is not now that you've entered that you me, I can't do it again. I'm not doing it again. You would do. You would do. <laughs> you would do. So, these are 10 things that I wish someone told me before I got married. If you are not married, you are like you have told you. If you are married, let me read in the comment section what you wish someone told you before you got married. Thank you once again for watching this video today. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I will definitely see you in the next video. Nyamin Kanho.